Hey guys, so I'm watching my favorite show, Ms. Mob. My son doesn't go to sleep. He wants to be up late. So yes, watching this. Happy birthday. So yeah, I want to do a video on the budgeting. Since we do have a couple more weeks left. So this is my budget book I use. Um, this is just the bills. Um, Christmas shopping this year. I did do a budget for that as well. Um, it's just usually just planning. So I like to have a notebook just on the side just to write it out. This is more just like a calendar, basically. Um, I got this one at Ross. So you can get this Walmart. So it is good for 2019 and 2020. So it just gives you the calendar. Um, there's this form of it as well. And then this one I have special events like birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, shopping, brother's birthday. So I did that. There's more room over here just for more. So I write everybody's birthday down, basically. So let's see. Let's get into this. So this book I usually use for everything. There's like here holidays. It's a nice little feature that the book comes with. So this is my vision board, guys. Yes, I have a vision board. Um, I got introduced this um, just barely about a vision board. So just writing basically things that you want to do and get accomplished and within the year or years, just goals basically and things that you want to get done. More like longer ones, saving money, everybody's probably going to have that one. You know, credit, fixed, stuff like that. Planning a new baby. Just things like that and no debt, no payments, family time, budget. Stay at home mom, I really want to do that. So I'm trying to work my way to that because I can't do that right now. And my son is behind me so I don't know why he's here. Maybe because he sees this and he thinks it's going to be some kind of presence out here. No, he needs to go to bed. So here's, right here it does show all the months and right now we're on December so I'm going to flip it to December so just give you the whole calcul or calendar sorry so you can write down like the paydays holidays and then this is where all the mess starts so I do do by paycheck so my job I get paid on the 5th and the 20th um, and hubby gets paid every week every Friday so I usually work out the budget that way I'm just going to show you a little bit. It's a mess because it's always changing, added things to it. That's usually the Christmas shopping, but usually that's what happens. So I do this afterwards I after I do my write-out on my notebook. So I want to start show you guys how I do that. So clean page. So I just start off, you know, just writing. I'm going to put the pin on. So just write budget. Right, and I'll do the months that I'm going to be budgeting. So December and January, 2020. Oh my gosh, guys, we're already 2020. So I like to go into the calendar, to this part, and just go to the first page. Let's see here. Sorry, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to December, right? And just circle all of the Fridays because that's when my hubby gets paid. And then, of course, I get paid the 15th and the 20th. And sometimes we do land twice on the same payday. So that is one, two, three, four, five checks I have to write the budget out for. So. And good birthday. Happy birthday, Grayson. Meza Mob. Oh, not Grayson. La Lila. Oh, yeah, the doggy there looking for the cake. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do the 13th. Is the next check. So I like to just write it out. I usually do this at work when I have, you know, because I do work at a call center. So it's a lot of downtime. I can write these out. So let's see. The 13th is gonna be the check. 
it's going to be hubby's check okay just make sure we do that way so hubby's check after everything it's 1175 right so that's his check so i like to write that out then we go here and we'll put the bills right the bills write down all the bills that we're going to be paying on the 13th which just passed so that one's already been taken care of i did have one already written out prior to this I, was just, I had to pay the bill so i wanted to have it written down and ready to go so i'm just gonna find it here we go okay, let's do it this way so i did have this one prior so i have the december the 13th check and i have the check that we're going to be receiving that's going to be hubby's right so it's going to be the 1175 Right, we're just looking at this real fast. Write down the format. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here. And what I like to do first is when I started beginning to do budgeting, I figured it would help me out a little bit so I can manage my bills. Because sometimes before I budget, it was like what bill was due, I would, couldn't keep track, and it was always I missed one or I didn't pay one because I didn't have it on a list kind of form. Cause that's how I can work best. So let's see, we're gonna write all the bills that are in the household right this is every month spending weekly however you want to do it so first and foremost will be the rent okay so we'll write down the rent so 821 that's my first bill that's the most important that's the person needs to get paid no matter what right so the next one will be the rent and then the car payment And the car payment is 324 I don't know if you guys have to pay extra charge because you have to pay over the phone because our company is in California. So yeah, they charge us for car fees. Unless if we didn't have that, it would be cheaper than that. So, and then we have in car insurance. So we do have Progressive. So I really like that car insurance. They really, the bundles do help. So we have two cars under that insurance. So like 234.70. Is the best rate that I can think of that would help us um, in our household at the moment because they're trying to charge us way more than that other places I was looking into okay so we have the rent the car payment the car insurance then we're gonna go to the kids daycare and that is 137 monthly so that's just daycare I like to write these out just to have everything so I don't miss anything. So when I'm doing the budget, I can just use this um, list and check off everything and make sure everything gets covered. I'm not messing anything. So daycare. Next will be cable. So cable does vary. Depends if my parents come over, we buy a movie, you know, just spend time with the family. Or a fight comes on and hubby wants to watch the fight with my dad. So it usually goes up and down from here. But usually it's around 340 um, and that does include, you know, Xfinity. So I don't know if you guys have Comcast where you live, but here in Utah we have Xfinity. So we have um, the cable, the internet, and a home security. So that just, in less than that, it's like 250 actually. And this one just, I just do that because we do order movies, and my daughter's always ordering her Frozen, Moana. So we do have to always purchase that. So that is one of them. And we do do the phones. So we do have the phones through our cable as well. Too bad we can't put them together and make it one bill because they don't do that. So that does cost two eighteen a month. And that is me, hubby, and son's phone and the extra phone that we had that we're paying off. Okay, so the next we have the phone, the cable, daycare, car payment. Okay, then next we're going to go to the debts, okay? So I know everyone has different kinds of debts. That could be car, credit cards, that can be loans, and in our case, you know, the struggle is real, guys. So, I'm just, that's also why I do the budget, so we can pay off things and get them paid off quicker than we wanted to, and just move everything around and manage it a little bit better than what we did before. So, in this case, these are the most important, right? So, the rent, the car payment, the insurance, the daycare, cable, and phone. So, that is the main priority bill that we do have, no matter what. So, now we have... Easy rent to own. It's a place, it's like when you go and uh, uh, get furniture and make payments to them. I guess you can say until you pay them off. In this sense, you know, it's not the smart way because you do end up paying double or sometimes triple for the item and more than store costs. But 
they are good, you know, in case of emergency or like if you don't have the funds and you need something. Like in our case, it was a whole whole apartment furnished. Um, so we did use them um, and we just pay them off. You know, income tax comes off and that's where the debt comes off and we just start from scratch. And good thing this year, um, that's the end of that we'll need them and we won't no longer need them anymore because now we, this time around, because usually last year um, we paid them off. This year we got the washer and dryer we upgraded to nicer ones um and then those are get paid off as well and a tv and stuff like that so them it's 312 and this these guys are every two weeks okay it's very expensive so i like to put two weeks there usually I already have it planned out and already put them in its budget so then another debt would be credit cards so we have a credit one so credit cards are just back up, right? And they're just thirty dollars a month. So that's not bad. It's not a big and I have a premier card, which is another credit card. And that is thirty dollars. Because what I'm trying to do is um fix my budget, right? I'm trying to make it better. My also fix my credit. Because we do want to get a house, we do wanna be debt free and have a home because the apartment we are grown out of <laughs> quickly um okay so we do have those two things and we do have a couple loans out right we have a security finance so i like to abbreviate it it's too long and they are 106 dollars monthly so i like to write there monthly because we do have separate so i do monthly monthly and then i do have it's called uh loyal loans it's another loan. So when I pay these guys every month, I do ask them where am I standing so I can see how long it would take for us to pay it off. So this month, I've already made the payments on the 13th. So this this one, we still have seven payments left. So we have seven, seven payments left on this one. On loyal loans, we have but $200 left. So we do the math. It's about 67 a payment. So we have about three payments or so to pay it off right and I do have a thing called a fig loan so I don't know if you guys ever heard of this so I do use um, a Expedian loan I mean Expedian credit report and fig loan they refer you to fig loan and they help you with your credit so they do report they do monitor your payments and they do report every I believe 30 days so that does that did help my credit because I did have them and they are 150 a month so they are a month as well so okay so i just want to make sure i have them all down so we have the main bills right that's ex an exception the rent the car payment the car insurance the daycare cable phone easy rent to own credit one premier card security finance loyal loans and fake loans so that's basically all that i can think of um we did get this year we did try out this thing called finger hut i don't know if you guys ever heard of them you can order product and they give you like a certain credit um and then you purchase and they just bill you monthly till you pay off the merchandise so i did do that for christmas i don't want to say what it is because my son does watch these videos <laughs> so just know that's what happened so we do have that so i'm just trying to think if i got everything covered so this is when i go back into my budget books i do write all of them down so this one right here i used for example october this is when i wrote down everything so here just show the car payment got that the rent oh we missed the power bill and we missed the gas okay so it looks like that's the only two things that i need to add on here to complete the list so we do have power bill sorry guys i'm trying to hold my phone and record and the gas bill so they do have this program that you can do um, is they, they will monitor your amount that you spend on gas and power and give you like a um, monthly rate so say for example you always spend 111 right then every month it's going to be 111 and they won't go up or go lower and it doesn't matter how much you how much you um, use so I like that because it's always going to be good for budget wise because you're always going to put this amount and you won't have to worry about changing it or anything like that and it'll always be this amount so I have all those down 
So then what I'd like to do after that is go and write down the dates that they are supposed to be due. So that helps me as well. So this one it could be the fifth, the first to the fifth, right, of the month. The rent. Car payment, we do have them on the 26th of the month. Car insurance is on the 29th. Daycare is usually the first or the 15th to pay. Cable is usually the 17th. The phone is usually on the 17th. Easy rental, like I said, they're every two weeks. So then that one I have to look at that and see what's going on. This one is on the 10th of every month, and the 10th of every month is the car. I usually have them together, so I don't want to worry about them. Security finance is usually the 18th of every month. The loyal loans, the 15th of every month. The fig loan, 29th. Finger hut, I'm assuming it would be the 10th. Power bill is on the 19th, and the gas is on the 19th. So I usually do that. I usually will write down what they are, how much they are, and the dates that correspond. Okay, so that's one thing, right? So this is how I write down my budget. So I'm gonna tear it off and leave it on one side so then I can reference it when I need to when I'm doing the budget and mark off which bills have already been put in the budget. Okay, so let me go ahead and we'll get back to where we were before. Let me see here. Where we went. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Sorry, guys. Okay, so for example, the 13th, right, was this Friday. So Hubby's check was only when I got paid because I get paid only twice a month. So his lands every Friday, so which is nice. So this month it was due the cable, the rent, security finance, the loan, daycare, and food, gas for the cars, and Hubby's cigarettes. Because I do have to put that in the budget because that is a big cost. Because it's literally a pack a day. Yes, I know. He needs to stop. So then I write down here every time. So I put here loyal loans. We have $200 left. Because I do ask him after the payment. Security finance, we have seven payments left. So then I go down to the 20th, right? And now, now I get paid and hubby gets paid. So that is an amount. That's his check, my check, and the total amount will be paid that day. So then I go here. We'll put Jack City 300. Power bill. Easy rent to own, Premier card. And then my son's dentist, because he does have, oh, he does have braces, so we do pay a fixed rate. Um, at this place, it's $97 a month, and that one usually is on the 15th that is due. So I forgot, totally forgot about that, sorry guys. So then we go here, and we break it down, right? So I just write down everything we have to pay, Right? Those are all the bills. And this happens to be the day we're going to go Christmas shopping. Which is exciting because I love Christmas shopping. So then I am go over here. And I'm at work. I'm telling you guys. I'm bored at work. So I'm sitting there. And I write my, my budget out. So I do come home and I, you know, change it. Add to it. Move things around. So this is just like a rough draft. So it shows you here the 13th. Right, gotta cross some things out, move it to the next one, you know, because the struggle is real. We do live paycheck to paycheck, so we do have to let the budget fit to our needs. So we do have to move things around. So, like the payment for the dentist, we have to move it, right? So, the 20th shows here. This is where it's gonna be, right? And this is how much we're gonna have for Christmas shopping, which is perfect because that's what we needed in the budget. So, the 27th, I have it written out, right? I break it up. So, the 27th is what bills. The car payment, the car insurance, my lawyer, the fig loans, right? That's where we go. And then the 3rd of January, right? January, January. So I do right here, January rent is paid because we're going to pay it here in this part of the budget. So the easy rent to own is lands, budget, and then it's going to be the phone, check city, and food once again. And then I just circle, you know, what's going to be the remaining balance for the week. So that's going to be gas, any kind of lunch or breakfast or coffee, whatever we need during the week. Let me go down here and it's the 10th. So the check will be for his and this will pay off the loan and we'll be done with Check City. So then we have 175 left over for gas or anything that comes up within the week and within that week. So the 17th, right? So usually the checks will vary, right? Some checks will have all the bills and some will have just a couple. Or we even get free checks sometimes as well. 
So this is going to be both of our checks. We have cable dentist, dentist, easy rental, loyal loans, and security finance. We do have 250 to be remaining because I am choosing to pay off the loyal loans on this date. So we take care of one of those. So we have just one in the FIGS loan left over. So we go down here to the 24th, right? And right here is going to say FIG loans paid because we're going to pay off the remaining balance on this check. Car payment, insurance, and food. Mind, mind you, you see food a lot. I like to just do it like that so we can take care of the minor, like the basic needs and we'll just don't have to spend $500 at once on one check for groceries if we just break it up when we need to go. Then I have here the 31st of January. So this is the last check of the month and this just lands on hubbies. So it's, it's going to be the rent, easy rent to own, sorry, the rent for February and the lawyer fee. And this when we leave a little bit extra, so it's three forty two. So when this happens and we have a bigger amount like this, we do like to put money aside. We try to put money aside. But I think this one would probably be the Costco trip on this date because we have a little bit extra. We can go get toilet paper, paper towels, anything that we need from Costco, diapers, wipes, things like that. So then the February fifth is the next one. That's gonna be my check. And that is we like to split up the rent, right? So we can have a little bit of wiggle room on each check so it's not all of it on one. So his will be 421, mine will be the 400. And the remaining balance of that would probably be, you know, for the week. Whatever will come up. You never know. Okay, so then February 7th would be the phone, the cable, and the daycare. And then we'll go over here on the 14th and it would just be easy rent on. So what I like to do, I like to do that, right? Because it always changes. So let's go to the 20th, right? Like we spoke of. It's going to be Christmas shopping. I'm excited because I love Christmas shopping. This year we tried to be a little bit more affordable because last year I was trying to like make sure everybody got the same amount and it's kind of hard. So let's see. Let's go to the 20th. And I did budget for this too, guys. I sure did. So here. Stars for Walmart. <laughs> Check is for Cabela's. A circle for Ross and the squares for Finger Hut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here. These are my nephews and nieces, niece, um, and we are trying to, you know, try to get everybody something, but not too much. And I told my family I wanted to agree on just spending it on the kids, you know, because it's a little too more expensive for the adults, and mainly it's about the children. So my nephews, I wrote them out. My two nephews, Nene and Jaden, they love PS4 like my son, so I'm gonna give them a gift card. My my nephew Fabian and Sophia and and Manny are younger. So I'm going to get them a toy or a gift card. I'm not quite yet sure. My nephew Manny, he's a baby. So I got him just clothing. So I already got those. That's why I put a check by it. I already purchased them. Also, this year we want to go shop for Ryan's brother, Dustin. Because this year I had the opportunity to talk to du uh, Ryan's, my hubby's older brother, Ronnie. And um, get my husband and his brother's necklaces of their mother's ashes. So they can have each of them individually because um, the oldest brother gets to keep the urn at his home. Um, so I just thought that would be a good thing for Christmas. So I did get him one, Dustin, his brother. So that's what I put in here. It's going to be the, the necklace. I got him a little shaving gift set. So that would be for him. His wife, Alicia, I got her a gift set. And this year I went to Walmart and I split those two up and I got two $5 gift sets. And I got the baby um, clothing. I got her son and her daughter gift sets. And then we do have to ship it to them so that I put that in the budget as well for $30. So always make sure you add every single thing you're going to have to spend on. So I did put checks because so these two are done already. And I like to do that too. I like to, if I can, if we have a little bit extra, take care of those two. So then when it comes to the family, my hubby, the kids, we have a lot more to spend on. Because we do. These guys want everything. So hubby mentioned he wants an auger, fishing tent. Um, I was looking on Cambellas.com like a sports store and I was just checking out the prices because that's what you guys need to do price match look around I looked at Target Walmart all these places to see how much the compares to the prices because that you need to do your research because you don't want to go and be like oh it's gonna be $300 for this and then it could be less and then your budget is worked out because of how much $300 is going to be for that and usually you can find it cheaper and then it knocks the whole budget off so I did do my research I did find the cheapest ones and I did put in you know, a kit here and a gift set here. So for my son, the kids are more money, <laughs> more stuff. So these are basically right here. Um, PS4, stuff like that. And my daughter as well. So I did do my daughter 
Mm -hmm. She does want a kitchen set. I know mean, she'll love that, right? And this is for me. I put my little thing there. I don't really need much. Um, so I did do for everybody's budget. So this will be the 20th, you know, and I cannot wait because I love it. So that is the budget, guys, for this um, video. So you guys can leave a comment below if you need me to, to explain a little bit more about anything else. Or maybe um, show you guys um, when I do do the payments, you know, all the payments that are due on the paycheck. Um, I usually try to do it all on card. Um, do card payment, um, debit payments, you know, for all the bills. I don't have to do any kind of extra running around. Um, but yeah, hi guys, this is my budget video for January and the ending of February. I mean, the beginning of February and the ending of December. Um, I'd, I'll do another video, um, because I do want to try doing those sync funds and also saving, you know, the sync funds is a whole different thing. It's like a, a list that you put for like yearly things. So like registration for the cars, for maintenance for the cars, pet food, um, household stuff birthdays things that are going to be coming yearly around and you need to have a budget for so you don't have to be scrambling around for money for those certain things so i will do that list as well because i haven't got to that yet i did do the budget first and then the next week i would do the sink funds and i want to get like individual little envelopes to you know start placing the money in there because what you do is every paycheck you just put a little bit aside make a you get the total of your sink funds and then you just spread them out and how much everyone's going to give in for those sink funds. And then you make envelopes for them. And then when the time comes, then you take from the envelopes and you pay the bill. So like in healthcare, you know, if you have a copay, things like that, just save up for anything. So that'll be the next video, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and once again, subscribe and like and share. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below and I will answer all your questions. Um... And yeah, guys, thank you so much, and you guys have a great night.